Welcome to Nostalgia Inc. in downtown Jackson. I'm Tim. And I'm Cody. And whether you've seen the movie or not, we're here today to talk about Avengers Infinity War and Thanos. Let's go take a look at the comics. Let's go. Dread it. Run from it. The end is near. We're gonna need some help. everybody so we've been uh, in love with all of the Avengers movies all the tie-ins the last 10 years we've been building up the uh, Infinity Stone series and it brings to the head here with the new Avengers Infinity War main character being Thanos uh, we may know we may not know the iconic story of the Infinity Gauntlet um, but as you can see there's plenty other stories featuring Thanos and this is the book we specifically want to talk about the new Avengers Infinity tie-in featuring the first appearance of the Black Order from the film uh, Corvus Clave, uh, Proxima Midnight, Ebony Maw, and the Black Dwarf. Um, so this book features the search for Thane, Thanos' son. Um, now this book is going to be a little bit different than what you see in the film um, but still, all of the main characters are in this book, first appeared in this book. It's going to be awesome. By and far, a lot of people relate the movie that's coming out and the Infinity Stone storyline with Infinity Gauntlet. But the, the movie is going to be far removed. There's going to be very little uh, overlap between the Infinity Gauntlet storyline that everyone knows, everyone who's familiar with right, the comic right, book yep. stories of Thanos, and the movie that's coming out. I think in order to fully appreciate Thanos, you need to understand who created him, why he was created in the Marvel Universe, what brought him into existence. It all started with Jim Starlin and Mike, Mike Friedrich mm -hmm. um, in Iron Man 55. The, uh, the, the concept for Thanos was actually a derivative of DC's Dark Side. Um, they, they kind of beefed the character up after an evolution to make him look more like Dark Side, but he's basically a ripoff yeah. of Dark Side, <laughs> um, but I think they've done a really good job with him. Marvel's uh, they've flourished the character into uh, a badass. Gave him personality. The Absolutely. Mad Titan. Absolutely. So he was born to an race of Eternals, which are basically like humans. They're almost perfect humans that live on the planet Titan. Um, he was born with the Deviant gene, which made him like a mutant among their own people. Gave him great powers, and then he. Uh, messed with his own genes and made himself even stronger. Um, so my personal favorite Thanos storyline is the Thanos Quest, which was written by Jim Starlin. Um, it's a great storyline of him basically traversing the galaxy, taking the gems from elders, the champion, the gardener. It's really, really good stuff. Cool characters. Um, and really, I think you would want to start uh, with the Silver Surfer Thanos Rebirth of Thanos storyline. This is actually where um, Death manages to bring Thanos back into existence, and he meets the Silver Surfer, and they kind of go on a little adventure. And Marvel even made a True Believers. It's only a dollar. Pick it up. Just came out. And uh, those are my personal favorites. If I were to recommend a Thanos storyline to read, those, that's where I would start. And I'm loving the new Donny Cates stuff right now, uh, a monthly new comic book, so let's go check some of those out. We are more than just another website design agency. JTV Studios is a full service creative agency offering video production, photography, and graphic design. With more than 30 international awards, we tailor our services to your business's unique needs so that you can take your brand to the next level. All right, so we've talked about the Avengers Infinity War film. We've talked about some trade paperbacks. Now let's talk about what's going on in the monthly comic books. Uh, Donny Cates and Jeff Shaw just finished up their run in Thanos. Widely successful, introduced a lot of new characters and new concepts. Uh, just mind-blowing stuff. Uh, Tim, I know you loved the book, Huge so fan. let's hear a little bit about it. Six-issue story arc uh, introduces uh, one of the coolest characters that they've done anything with in a long Agreed. time. 
um, they introduced a character called Cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, he uh, basically, in, af in the aftermath of Thanos wiping out all life on Earth, mm -hmm. um, a character, a super beloved hero that everyone I'm sure is fond of, uh, made a deal with the devil and became the spirit of vengeance. So, uh, you know, after spending a few thousand years roaming around Earth. All alone. Um, he then gets joined up by Galactus, who makes him a herald and gives him go cosmic powers. Right. Really awesome storyline. Mm -hmm. I mean, aside from the fact of meeting King Thanos and Thanos jumping into the future and them having to face off. Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer shows up <laughs> with Mjolnir. I, I, yeah. it, it's crazy. Crazy storyline. A lot, lot of fun. So also, it was so successful. Now they're doing a solo story of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. So Absolutely. that's up to come. So definitely make certain to come check us out. And the annual, the Thanos annual, comes out next month. So mm. do not miss that book. Absolutely. So we talked about the movie Avengers Infinity War, we talked about trade paperbacks, the newest Thanos comic book series, all things Thanos related pretty much. Uh, stay tuned next month for a video on Deadpool. And uh, don't forget guys, uh, follow us on Facebook, and we're Nostalgia Inc, Downtown Jackson. Again, we got Tim, we got Cody, and don't forget also check out this link below. Subscribe. This one here. Do it. Thanks guys. <laughs>